For example, when you are guided by the natural love of self, you're cold, you'll find something to warm you. But when you are guided by self-love, you'll dress something warm, but the choice of your attire will also depend on how others will judge the way you do this. In other words, it's not just about satisfying your needs, it's also about showing others that you have this nice coat, that you have money to provide for such and such a dress, that you have taste in quality shoes. And you can notice this shift between your animal self and social self yourself. For example, when you're home, you're alone, you are less pressured to appear in a certain way. So when at home, you might say, there's no need to put on my pants, I feel good as I am. But when you go out, you experience pressures. You are considering how others will judge your own taking care of yourself. Not only will they judge if you go out in your underwear, but the choice of your pants will also play a role. The social self-love is a kind of love where in satisfying our needs we take into account how others perceive